They say that a Muslim woman's strength lies in her hijab. But since I can remember, I've seen female members of my family hold up households like pillars, born by faith and compassion. Divorce force loving their children pivotal to the foundation of their lives, treasuring their children like bars of gold, laced with heaven sent our mothers are heaven sent, watering their souls to God and entrusting their children to the house of Allah. Aisha Tashari, I have seen your metamorphosis into a woman of God, embracing Islam faithfully and indulging in its ways, paving your own path, a road many will not dare travel, sacrificing it all, severing ties with kin who couldn't overlook their unmet needs to fit into society, while others allow unrealistic ideologies to leave them inebriated. You held on to your sobriety as if their aimlessness could deter you from what you knew to be correct. Nothing could ever face you. But they made it seem as if your hijab was not an extension of your beauty, but more so an entrance for religious hate to extend and entrance the fuel of intolerance burning in the pits of their ignorance. But through it all, you work 12 hours a day, seven days a week from seven to seven just to see us fluent in our theme. Faith. Because like El Haj Malik, you recognize the never-ending capacity religious consciousness had to eradicate the cancer and spread of self-deprivation. And I know you may believe we were too young to perceive your acts of selflessness, but I recall every battle you fought in the name of your children's future. Those early morning rides to school. Eight o'clock, unwashed faces and dry lines of jewel were visible throughout the car. And as you would slowly drift to sleep, I could see scenes of paradise projected from your iris as you tried to stay awake. Swerving from lane to lane. And I would call your name because the vibrations from your tires hits reminded me of your words. I risk it all, but I know that it is worth it. Oh, Isata, you mimic the mannerisms of a miracle worker. A single mom with 99 problems, but having a man to assist you was never one. And to keep it 100, you supersede super. And if there was ever a mode put in place for women of future generations to emulate would have no competition, exuding sheer strength and charisma, like a modern day Cleopatra, but queen is a title far too overused. You are something greater than that. You are someone greater than that. So a mere thank you and an ode in a poem are not enough. They are not enough to compensate for the 16 years of their life you put aside to help mold me into a man or someday claim. So on that day, I made it my duty to help rephrase that statement, hijab. It's not where Muslim woman's strength comes from, but it is where her pride is publicized. A Muslim woman's strength lies beneath her breast and in her heart. Her love for others is what keeps her beating. Thank you. <laughs> October of 2013, I joined the Baltimore City Poetry Team. So since October. I love this poem. Okay. Thank you. For me, more so, I was just, so my mother, she wasn't always as religious as she is right now, as she is now. And so when she when she started to embrace Islam, she that's when she became more more selfless for us, basically, willing to give herself for us to be more conscious of the religion as well. And so that's where the generosity came from. <laughs> 